we uh, focused on like, we started looking at the prosthetic industry. I was like, well, wait a minute. Like if you have, if you're an amputee, like how do you walk on a prosthetic ankle and knee? Like you don't have power in those. At the time, I think there was, I think Oser had a powered prosthetic knee, but there's a lot of passive devices out there that people can walk on. And so we started looking at some of those things and you start looking at, you know, human walking dynamics and you realize like the knees primarily a damper for level ground walking. And so, um, we built, uh, we called exo hiker, which basically had active damping on the knees and a, a frame and a joint architecture that could support 200 pounds passively. Oh, so cool. like literally you could take a person out of it and you could put 200 pounds and balance it on the, on the, structure without any joints and it That's would support awesome. it and then um but that same architecture lets you get inside there and have a bunch of the, all the freedom and degrees of freedom that you wanted so it was a really clever architecture um to enable that and then from there we basically started adding more power right so um that kind of we kind of reset the baseline of like how much power is required for an exoskeleton and so like um yeah we started going the passive route early on which it's funny because nowadays you look at any exoskeleton products out there and anything that's you know quasi successful i'd say in the commercial space they're all passive right there's no powered exoskeleton that's that's making a dent yet because that's really hard to do so some of the like best things that we were making there's a bunch of those out there now um some of these lift assist suits um they're all passive but that's really like the i think the toehold for exoskeletons is the you know, smart design with passive technology to, you know, augment that human on what they're bad at, which is typically endurance. You don't really need extra strength. You're typically doing like some sort of gravity compensation. So um, because of that, it's like, it, they're, they're typically task specific. Like you can't, a, <laughs> you can't make a, you can't make a passive exoskeleton that can do everything like that's impossible 